So, so that's that. I'm going to start to take some calls. Let's see who we got here on the uh, waiting in line, holding up their hands. We got a lot of people want to jump on. You know, I think it probably makes the most sense to, excuse me, to take people who are, who are first in line. Yeah, why not? Why don't we jump on with Spexo? Haven't heard from him in a while. Let's bring him on. Spexo, you're unmuted. Good morning, Groy. Hey. How's your morning going? Good morning. Great to be here, man. Uh, awesome show. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I just want to say that it's very white pilling that uh, you talked about Elon Musk because uh, I remember like a month ago I posted that I had a little bit of uh, some criticisms of Elon Musk and I got so much pushback from people like telling me like you shouldn't be sharing your opinion and all this stuff and uh, like my my original stance was like if he's going to make a social media platform or like endorse you or something like that then of course I'd be all for it but like Reddit likes him so number one that's like the first red flag he's a billionaire he doesn't like us he smoked weed on Joe Rogan and he's promoting this Neuralink stuff which is literal transhumanist stuff like he wants to change the human natural order with technology that goes against god's will you know so i don't think that's good at all yeah no that's a good point and you know i've said in the past like i like elon musk there's things that are admirable about him i think as an entrepreneur as a visionary there are admirable traits but Certainly, many such cases, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Certainly, there have been a lot of innovative, uh, admirable people that have done the wrong thing. And Neuralink is, you know, is one of those things where I think it's definitely crossing a line. And I think whether it's good or it's bad, this is a guy with too much power. This is a guy probably with too much power, and there's no oversight, and he's going to make decisions that are going to implicate the entire future of humanity. And I, I don't know, even if I liked him so much, whether or not I trust him with that. And probably he's going in the wrong direction anyway. So that's a great point. Um, but how, how's your morning going? What's what's going on with you? What are you up to? Uh, I just got out of the gym. Got to go yeah, home. Yeah, breakfast. Well, yes, I had, uh, what did I have? I had, uh, I'm on like this weird meal plan. So I had uh, like steak and uh, rice and broccoli. <laughs> Oh, nice. Wow. That yeah. actually sounds nice. Very healthy, huh? Steak mm -hmm. and rice and broccoli, going to the gym. I'm trying. But uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to say one more thing that um, if the implications, like you said, besides all the good points that you made about that with like the Ted Kaczynski stuff and the cars and how now it, it was first a luxury and now our society depends on it. Like if he creates this Neuralink stuff, then even if it's a private entity, what's to say that like the government or these corporations can't use that as like the IRFD chip type things? Or who's to say like what the technology implicates where somebody could hack into it and then like if your bank account or something is connected to these technological things that are now implanted in you that like can just take over your life. I know it's very science fiction-y and like stupid maybe, but like I feel like that's on the direction we need to like halt technology at some point. No, you're right. It's totally true. And they, they've actually even talked about that. Specifically, they've talked about identifying the parts of the brain where people are racist or religious <laughs> and neutralizing those parts of the brain with, um, I forget what it's called exactly, but there, there's a word for this technology where um, this guy Wurzelroot from TikTok actually did a, a TikTok about it, talking about how they're going to use, I think it's uh, electromagnetism to fry parts of your brain that are responsible for prejudice or, you know, whatever. And that that's really the point is, like you said, there has to be a limit because that kind of manipulation of the human brain, understanding it to that extent, if that falls into the wrong hands, it's over. I mean, these are people that they hold all the cards, all the resources. They're going to be sovereign over the human mind. Like, obviously, that's a big problem. So it's, an, it's another valid point. But um, thanks yeah. for calling in. We're going to try and bring on another caller here. But thanks. Very right. insightful, and have a great rest of your morning, Spexo. Thank you, you too. And also, please have more events because life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Can relate. Yeah, relating to that. Well, we're definitely looking at one probably for the fall at the latest. So uh, thanks, yeah, man. We have that to look forward to. But thanks a lot. Take it easy. You too. See you later. All right. Thank you very much, Spexo. Dude, the guy's, the guy's ahead of the curve, man. I, I hear what he says. 
I have steak and broccoli and rice and I'm at the gym and it's noon and it's one o'clock, I should say. I wake up and I eat, uh, you know, M&Ms. <laughs> I wake up and I eat M&Ms and then I get on my computer and I read, uh, you know, Oon's Review or whatever for hours. And it's like two o'clock. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to get on that program. I got to get on the, the steak and rice and broccoli and working out program. I'm more on the uh, Italian beef pizza donut program, more of the sedentary gaming for eight hours at a time program. Okay, let's bring in another caller.